You're good now. I'm good now? Yes. Okay, and can, and can you hear me and see me? Okay, good yes. now. All right, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. First, I give honor to God, who is the high. Amen to God, to these great men of God. Amen to uh, the platform of Hope Staff. Thank you, Jesus. Elder Jimmy and Timmy Brown, also to Evangelist Joyce McCoy Peel, to Brother Manny and Pastor David, as well our other guests on today, and to you, uh, each and every one of you, God's children. I'm going directly into the Word of God. I want to today, our topic is victory in this. And I was victory in this, along with our other speakers today. And we have about 10 minutes, so I'm going to do my little time and get off because I'm uh, anxious and I'm excited to hear all of the other speakers that will be coming after myself. But before I go into this great work that I have prepared for you, let us pray. Oh, gracious God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this day. This is the day and this is the hour and the time of victory. This is the also the platform of hope. And God, on today, we come to receive hope and strength and grace and mercy and love and everything that you have in store for us. Thank you, thank you. God, we ask you to bind and rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Work with this technology and bless our equipment, oh God, and bless those that are listening. Bless those who have the time, Father God, that's preparing their hearts and sacrificing time, Father God, to hear from you in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you and we praise you, O oh God, because there is a word. There is hope and there is a word for the people of the Lord right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Praise God. All right, let's take care of business here. Our first scripture is 1 Corinthians 15 and 57 says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. My second scripture is 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. 2 Corinthians 2 and 14 says, Now thanks be unto God, which also causes us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to know that there is victory. We already know that Jesus Christ, amen, is victorious. And he was victorious because he was victorious with all of his accomplishments and all of his missions that he healed while being on. Jesus started in the marine at the age of 12, praise God, but, but by age 33, amen, his ministry was completed. And he went back into heaven. He ascended into the heaven, and he's sitting on the right hand of the Father God in heaven, our Father, our Heavenly Father. So I want you to know since Jesus Christ was victorious, and since he was our great example, praise God, in having victory, we have victory. Why? Because we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loved us and who has given us the strength, who has given us the availability, hallelujah, and the means, hallelujah, not just financial, not, not just financially, because I'm not talking financially, but I'm talking spiritually. The spiritual means of us having victory. In order to have victory, praise God, you have to realize that God wants to give you divine victory. God wants to give you total and complete victory. Praise God. Victory is a success or superior position achieved against any opponent. Praise God. Or difficulty and etc. In order to have victory, number one, you must be in Christ. You've got to be rooted and grounded. Be rooted in the word of God. Hallelujah. And in order to have victory, you must receive the strength, the royalty, and the authority of God. I'm almost finished. Praise God. And I want to tell you, saints of God, keep moving ahead. Don't go backwards, but move ahead. You have to get past the hurt and the pain. You'll have hurt and you'll have pain, but move forward. I want you to know that God will answer you and he will help you. One of my favorite scriptures is that God is a very present help even in the time of trouble. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm reminded of the scripture in Psalms 34. It could be verse 6 or 7. 
Praise God. It says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Praise God. And then it says, this poor man cried and heard him and God heard him. He heard him and brought him up all of his troubles. Praise God. There's a man, there's a woman out there today that is in need of victory. Some of you are going through trials, tribulations, but victory is on your side. God is on the throne. God is on the throne and he sits there today awaiting on you to approach the throne of grace and mercy so he can pour out his love and his victory. Hallelujah upon you and in your life. You are victorious. You are triumphant. And I want you to know that we have victory in Jesus. I'm wrapping this up. But you've got victory in Jesus. Amen. As the hymn says, oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me and I knew him and all of my love is due him because he plung, talking about Jesus, Jesus plung me to victory beneath the cleansing blood. If you got the word of God, you've got victory. If you have the power of God on your side, you've got victory. Hallelujah. So all you got to do is just keep on trusting in the Lord and God is going to be with you to stand against the enemy because the enemy is trying to take us out even today. Praise God. But there's a storm on the ocean spiritually and it's moving this way. And if our soul is not anchored in Jesus, we'll surely drift away. Praise God. So be rooted and grounded and anchored in the Lord. Praise God, because that's where your victory lies. Your victory is in Jesus. There's a song that says, victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan to get me behind. Victory today is mine. Just keep on trusting in God and stand on the solid rock. Praise God. I don't want to take all the time because there's other speakers that are speaking uh, behind me. Brother Manny and Pastor David Vasquez, and we want the Lord to continue to use them on today as well. But I tell you, as long as you got the word of God, you've got all the strength, you've got the victory that you need in Christ Jesus. And I'm going to tell you this. I just got one more thing. Hallelujah. Give me 60 seconds. I want to say that the enemy, like I said, he's trying to take us out through all kind of fiery darts and trials and tribulations. Praise God. But the Bible says no weapon. You see, I'm holding a blade. There's no weapon that is formed against us naturally or spiritually that's going to be able to prosper. Why? Because we've got the victory. God is on our side and he has our back. I better stop. Hallelujah. And I better watch my tone because I feel the Lord right now because I am down. victorious. I am victorious and you are victorious. Woo! You are Amen. the Lord, and you ain't Done. Glory to God. Somebody ought to give God praise. I don't care if you're in your car. I don't care if you're at home. I don't care if you're in your kitchen. I don't care if you're in your studio or your office. You are victorious today. The platform of hope wants you to know that you got, ah, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, I know that was random, but if if y'all could feel the fire of God deep down in my soul, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And I'm going to put myself on mute. Praise God so I can give it to the hands of Elder Jimmy Brown or Timmy Brown so they can produce uh, and present the other speakers. Praise God. Thank you so much. I got the victory. You got the victory. We're more than conquerors in Jesus Christ who loved us. God bless you. I love you. Amen. Amen. That, what a word. I am victorious. I am victorious. you are victorious? I mean, right now, how many of you all are victorious? Amen. I am victorious. What a word. That was a word from him as well as missionary Joyce McCoy Appeal. Amen. We're moving on.